am Vanessa Kynes and I'm a Pinterest marketing strategist for creative small businesses. On my YouTube page, you can find Pinterest strategies and tips for the creative small business. Today's video is all about why you should host your own Tailwind Tribe. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that Tailwind, a Pinterest and Instagram scheduler, is a tool that I use every single day in my business for myself and for my clients. It allows you to create an automated Pinterest queue so that you can literally automate your Pinterest marketing strategy. Because we all know we don't have a lot of time to sit and manually pin on Pinterest. So one of, the, one of the tools of Tailwind is that you can be a part of a Tailwind tribe. A tribe is a collection of niche related Tailwind users who wanna contribute their content in exchange for pinning other people's content. It's a win-win solution and a great way to grow in visibility and to get more traffic. In fact, I can say that 10% of my blog traffic comes from pins that originated in a Tailwind tribe. Now, today's strategy is all about why you might wanna host your own Tailwind tribe. I started a Tailwind tribe in the beginning of August and it's become a great place of not only really valuable content, but it's also grown my know, like, trust of my users. So people can come come to this tribe, pin my content, but also discover new Pinterest tips. So a lot of people in my creative entrepreneur tribe are brand strategists, graphic designers, website designers, or copywriters. They're not Pinterest experts. So they might see one of my pins that interests them on Pinterest marketing strategies and they click on it and they use that advice. It develops my know, like, trust and also becomes a great hub for you to grow your own community of members. So when you're considering starting a Tailwind tribe, my recommendations are one, having a really specific niche. A really broad tribe that doesn't have a really well-defined niche doesn't do as well. You won't have as many active engagers and pinners within your tribe and they might end up dropping out. The second thing is to write to your tribe. You have the ability to chat with your tribe in the Tailwind app. And I use this place to talk about the rules and reinforcing those rules or tell people they're doing a great job on pinning or even just sending them lovely notes. It's just a great way to grow in community with people who are following you. The third, the third thing about having a tribe is to set important rules. So some of the rules I like to have are one-to-one -one pinning ratio. This prevents people from coming in and dropping off a lot of their content, but not reciprocating and by pinning back. I also like to point out that I don't allow certain types of posts or certain size images. If someone is not following the rules, I like to send them a couple reminders and if they continue, to break the rules, I unfortunately kick them out. I don't wanna be mean when I kick someone out, but I do wanna maintain the quality of my tribe. It doesn't benefit the tribe if we allow for spammy comments or spammy pins to get in. What you really wanna do is develop a good quality place for people to come and pick up content to schedule for themselves on Tailwind as well as drop off their own content. You want it to be a place where they can trust. So these are some of the great reasons to have a tribe. By having a tribe, you're growing community. You might even get more traffic to your site through this growing community of people who know you for a certain niche. And I think it's a great way to get started. If you're not using Tailwind, you can grab my affiliate link below and get started today. I even have a how to use Tailwind course where I walk you through 10 different modules on how to get started using Tailwind and the specific strategies I use to automate my Pinterest marketing strategy. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if you want more Pinterest tips, be sure to subscribe to my page or you can grab my free Pinterest startup guide, which you can get in the link below or going to vanessakinds.com. Thanks so much for joining me.